I'm red. I want to kiss you now to make you purple all over. Hey guys, it's Julius. Welcome back to my channel. And today I decided to do a little get ready with me. So, you know, I already look cute. I want to do my makeup and might as well film the process. Honestly, my style of dressing has changed so much over the past few years. But I, you know, I'm not complaining about it. I think it's just personal growth and me kind of like changing my interest. You know, I have definitely have been influenced, I'd say, by people like Blake Homie and Ash or Stone Fairy now. They're really like interesting content creators that I can actually um, kind of admit that I have kind of styled myself after, but obviously not completely because I am my own person, but they definitely have inspired me to, you know, change up my look and, you know, give myself a whole new aesthetic, I guess. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I like my new vibe though. You know, I think um, it kind of fits me more. You know, like I'm wearing a dress right now and honestly, I don't wear dresses like that. But this dress is so cute. And you know, like this, you know, this, um, I don't own jewelry at all, but like I found it and I really like it. And I made it into kind of like a little choker. It's cute, I like it. I have no idea what's happening with school anymore. It's my, it's gonna be my last year. And I really don't know what they're doing with online schooling at this point. Like I've seen what my school wants to do and it's so confusing. I just, I don't understand why they want to reopen schools now. If you can't even eat in McDonald's inside, why open up a school for kids to go to? It's just, it's just asking for a higher rise in cases. And it's just kind of stupid to me, but you know, it is what it is. I'm personally not going back to school. I'm going to stay home remotely 100% and, you know, just kind of learn from here, obviously. But then, you know, there's other kids that are going to do blended learning, which is like, you know, obviously going to school some days and staying home other days. I just don't really feel like it's smart to do, though. I just feel like it's kind of like a health hazard. I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready to, like, leave school yeah i'm gonna be sad that you know you know it's my last year but i'm kind of ready to like take on like college and stuff because i do want to go to college and i kind of decided what i want to study i want to go into psychology um yeah because you know i do want to become a psychologist i was always wanting to you know kind of go into doing film and stuff but i kind of became a little more realistic recently and kind of thought why do film you know as like a main career when I could kind of keep that as like a side hobby and keep psychology to you know like my main goal and I think it's kind of more realistic and safer um, you know benefits wise and um, economically wise you know in this time it's really hard to make it big in the industry so it kind of makes more sense to do that instead you know also, if you guys hear a lot of talking in the background, that's my parents, they're very loud, and I apologize for that. When it comes to my friends, I I love my friends. They're honestly the best people I could be around. You know, they make me feel like me, you know? like And that's what everyone should strive for. Always make sure you guys have good friend groups that make you feel comfortable with being you and only want to see you do the best things in life and not try to bring you down or always judge you, you know? It's um really healthy for someone's mindset and everyone's mindset should be positive, but unfortunately not everyone's is, so make sure you really, you know, find that one stable group. But yeah, I love my friends. They're honestly the best people I can, you know, add in my life. I've known them for, you know, in oh, in the ranges of the people in that group, I've known them for a couple of years to even a couple of months. And even though, you know, some people I obviously haven't known that long in the group, I could really say that it's not about the quantity, you know, of time you know someone, but it's about the quality of, of your relationship, you know? And that's that's something you should also keep in mind. When it comes to like toxic friendships and relationships, it shouldn't matter how long you've known them. But think about the good and bad things about that person. If they have nothing to bring you to the table, if they always, you know, like bring you down, then are they really your friend? You know, that's something you should remember. I 
think my makeup skills have improved over time but I'm definitely not a James Charles you know but I like my looks that I have you know obviously I will always continue to improve but for now I definitely can say I've made a big jump since first starting makeup which was around like a year or two ago yeah so I've never really been into makeup like that until you know now especially it just kind of is like a good coping when things kind of get rough you know I like to do my makeup and it relaxes me you know it's nice so back to psychology my mind wanders a lot that's why I can't stick to one topic to talk about but I want to help people I want to be a psychologist I want to support people and listen to their problems and you know not judge them I want to you know be an outlet for someone to you know voice their you know voice their thoughts I've always been a good listener to people I have always want to help others and I think that really can help a lot in that field but yeah I feel like they're kind of uneven but the front is not that noticeable and I don't really feel like going back on it so we're just gonna wing it shut your bubblegum dumb dumb looking ass up I'm just gonna put this pink eyeshadow in the corners of my eye and that will complete the eyeshadow look and then I can go ahead and do my brows got this um paw made from at all i think from five below but i don't know so don't quote me on that it works pretty good i mean it's pretty dried up though i need new um eyebrow products but yeah um i'm not the best at doing eyebrows i kind of just go with what looks the best and make my eyebrows look pretty equal to each other my eyebrows are definitely not identical. They're they're fraternal, so yes, we love that for her. conceal a little under the eyes because I am gonna take pictures and I don't want to look like I haven't gotten any sleep I have gotten sleep but I don't know I my you know face just be playing games on me but I don't really put too much under you know I don't want to look too caked out and I put this powder here it you know kind of puts color back in my face because the concealer does make me look cakey because um I did get this during winter and I'm definitely much more tanner since it is obviously summer I just went ahead and completed the look off camera just added lashes and lipstick so now we're done if you guys want to see the look on my Instagram, the link will be down in the description. So yeah, bye guys.